What up, world? It's King Do Out of Melanated King, and you're watching Royal Nation TV. I'm about to do a reaction video for Black Sam. Uh, big shout out to Big Boy TV. Much salute to him. 30 years in the game in the radio, 30 years in the game in the music industry, and I, I highly respect this interview that he did with uh, Nipsey Hussle's brother, Black Sam. Very emotional interview, and uh, Black Sam, he, t he told it like it was. One particular part that really caught my attention when he said it was some type of um, hit put on Nipsey, from his understanding. So I'm gonna play the video, let y'all check it out, and give my comment and my opinion on it. Y'all give y'all comment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Royal Nation TV. We got more stuff coming every day, all day. Let's check out the interview. It's good, and make sure we keep going. Is it as random as what the public thought it was? Like. Nip seen somebody, Eric, and talked and... I mean, uh, you know, he, are, he already got convicted, so... For me, without, without going into too many details... Mm -hmm. Somebody come to the shop. They know we in, we, we in the doorway. When Hustle pull up, we in the doorway. You're gonna see me with a hoodie on, and I got a pistol on me. You're gonna see one of my one of the team members in the hoodie uh, uh, in the doorway with a pistol. That's protocol when hustle pull up. <clears throat> so it's Sunday. It's busy in there. Why the, why why the niggas in there didn't follow the You know, he, he know more than what he's saying, but he's trying to, you know, uh street politics, keep it under the radar why they deal with how they gonna deal with it but you notice he's not going in too much detail but he's going into detail you know about what's going on this is what really caught my attention how he breaks everything out how he breaks everything down check it out the protocol i wasn't there why they didn't follow it maybe they just fucking around helping the customer doing some fucking customer service this is what i'm thinking trying to you know transition into some legitimate mm. just selling clothes but nobody was in the, nobody was in the doorway, and um, from my understanding, no boy walked up with no shirt on first to check the scene because he know what's, he know what he know what's going on in that parking lot, and um, had a conversation. Probably seen nobody was in the doorways. Checked hustle had on shorts. Checked everybody else. Left. They say came back with a red shirt on. Tiptoed through the alley. And went right and started shooting. See, and that's another thing, right? What's crazy, if y'all remember watching the video, you know, because we've seen this <laughs> in real time on the video. We've seen all this play out. He came up with the shirt off. And Sam is making some real good valid points. Check it out. So to me, that's premeditated. Number one, there's no red shirts in the hood. <clears throat> you can't buy no red shirt. No, no liquor store sell no red shirt. Number two, when a nigga come through the alley with a red shirt, that's the throw off, or the Bloods did it, or the Inglewood families did it, or the BPS, or, that's the throw off, red shirt. So for me, he felt he was supposed to he, he he was supposed to do a job or somebody sent him or whatever and he was nervous he was supposed to hit that alley with that red shirt immediately but he didn't do that he came in and he wanted to check the scene he wanted to make sure he he he, he wasn't getting into a shootout fyi for everybody that's not familiar with gang culture if you ever been to california especially los angeles la la county is serious you heard what he said they don't even sell red shirts in this section so that lets you know how serious the uh, gang culture is out there. You know, not y'all fools running around here yelling Sue, Sue Wu because it's something, you know, it's a trend or something fashionable to do. Nah, man, you go out there playing with that, yeah, you're going to come back in the pine by box, put it like that. Let's check it out. And that's, that, that's, my, that's my thoughts on it. You understand? So, and can't nobody tell me nothing about that because... It just it just don't make no sense. It's not random, you know. I know hustle. 
you know, ain't nobody, ain't nobody gonna say nothing crazy to hustle because they know what come with it. No matter what age you are, niggas ain't saying nothing crazy to hustle. Wherever you find them at, but on Crenshaw and Slauson, definitely you're not saying nothing crazy. You're gonna come, you're gonna tuck your tail and be humble. And if not, you're getting beat up on the spot. And we done did it a million times. Hustle done did it a million times. So the fact that he left, tell me everything I need to know. It was no argument. You know, it was no, it was no, 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 it was no sense of threat. Because with that come, like, hey, be on deck. Yeah. It, it was yeah. none of that. It was just, you know, to me it was, let me come through, let me see what's going on, and then let me, you know, in this broad daylight, man, and it's, you know, it's a lot of, a lot of unanswered questions, man. You don't believe he had any dialogue with, with Nip that day? Or did anybody say he said something? Yeah, no, they had they had dialogue, but it was in the mix of him coming up, talking to bro, and you know, whatever whatever transpired, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't an aggressive dialogue. It was just it's maybe small talk, and then maybe people saying Nip brought something up to him, but it wasn't uh to me to me that don't whatever the dialogue was. That didn't that that didn't um that didn't justify or that mm -hmm. didn't that didn't turn into that, you know what I'm saying? He he came there for he came there for a reason, and man and, and man got the reverses, I mean got the you know charges reversed because Hustle asked him something about it and humbled him real quick, but I think um you know it's gonna come to the light. Did you know Eric Holder <clears throat> before? Yeah, we probably seen him, seen him a couple times um, when he was younger. You know he he hadn't been he hadn't been in the in, in the hood like that. Um, they're saying he had some uh, like a snitch jacket on him or he couldn't come around. Um, you know, me personally, hustle, fast. You know. So basically, what he's saying is that Eric Holder was his his name was bad in the hood, so that's why they never really seen him in there. You know, and all of a sudden he pops up. Now, he did state, you got to watch the whole interview. And like I said, big shout out to Big Boy TV because he did a really, really great job. And Big Sam, excuse me, Black Sam doesn't really do any interviews. So this was something exclusive for Big Boy TV. And um, he shared, he poured out his heart in there. But he did talk about, you know, everybody know about the confrontation he had and the uh, physical confrontation he had with Big U. So he's sending, you know, he's sending a lot of information out there that's kind of pretty much on you to uh, pick up on it. Let's check it out. Like we seen a lot of the homies raised because we at that shop seven days a week. Mm -hmm. You know, before it was the Marathon store, when it was Slauson Tees, Slauson Ave, we had weed spots all in the hood. So we seen a lot of the young homies raised from kids to teenagers to adults. We watched them, they know us, we know them. Anything we throw in the parking lot, if you're from that area, if you're from the 60s, if you, from the 30s to the 100s, when you would hustle, throw something in that parking lot, you coming from whatever it is. You in the hood, you smoking weed, you coming to our spots. He was never at any, any, any functions. He was never at any grand openings. He was never at any, anything Hustle mm -hmm. was doing. He was never at any shows. It's because he wasn't good in the hood. So all this other shit niggas is talking about, I don't know it. He wasn't good, you know? He wasn't good, and he, he, he was not good, and he was and, and he was not around for a reason, you know? And, and, and to that point, we didn't see him. All right, y'all, so that's the reaction to that. Uh, man, this R.I.P. Nipsey Hussle, man. Um, <sighs> seeing his death and seeing how he died and what happened and the back and forth from that and, and, uh, and the, I don't know why they didn't protect him like they were supposed to protect him. And, you know, Black Sam has basically disconnected himself from from Cowboy, from Big U, from a lot of those guys. They even moved the whole Marathon store, Crenshaw, the whole concept of the T-shirts and what they were doing out of the 60s for a reason. So, you know, it's, it's, it's sad, man, the way everything turned out. But one thing about time, it reveals everything. You can't run from time. Time heals and it reveals. I'm King Duo, the Melanated King. 
Royal Nation TV. Royal Nation TV, keep it locked. What's cracking, beef? Get G with it, you friends. Oh, wow, well, baby, Royal Nation TV. Royal Nation TV. Royal Nation TV.